Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I am going to be talking about my favorite fall lipsticks for 2022. I have gathered seven of my favorite lipstick formulas and colors ranging from nudes all the way to chocolate browns. We have some rust and red shades in between, even some wines and medium browns. This video is hopefully going to be the first of a series. I actually had a lot of fun filming this. I prepared a very meticulous list going over all the different formulas that I love and why I love them different price points So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you find it useful share this video wherever it is shareable If you love it give it a thumbs up notification bell for Wednesdays and Sundays videos And now let's get into this video seven fall lipsticks that you need for 2022 Let's do this so the first fall lipstick that I am loving for fall 2022 is this one from Joa, the Glassify Lip Gloss, which in my opinion is part oil, part gloss. And I've talked about this color before. This is in the shade Sunray. It is an $8 product, super inexpensive, but to me, it just gives you the perfect glossy tan nude type of lip color that's perfect for the fall season great for anyone who's a medium to tan skin tone but it will also look good on anyone who's much lighter or much deeper skin tone than me so i like to pair this one with my laura mercier chestnut little tiny lip liner. You can also use NYX light brown, but chestnut is just like my favorite. Did I say light brown? I think it's soft brown. Either light brown or soft brown. I'll pop up the name. All right, so lips are lined. Now I'm gonna add my sun ray. Do you see how like beautifully warm, but tan, but rich yet wearable it looks. What I love about this formula is that it is also buildable. So you can add one sheer layer or just like a couple of dots and sheer it out, or you can build it up for a super glossy and just like really beautiful fall pout. This is great for every day. This feels super comfortable and very lightweight on your lips. So it doesn't feel like super heavy, super sticky, none of the above. This I think is a really, really, really great rare find. Not a lot of people talk about Joa Beauty. I specifically love this Glassify Lip Gloss Collection. I love all the colors, but this one has got to be my favorite. And it's not just a favorite for 2022. I feel like it's been a favorite for a couple years now. Also, this product wears really well, surprisingly long wearing for a glossy type of product. And the best part is that that it wears off just super beautifully. It doesn't give you that crusty type of lip gloss look that settles in your fine little lines on your lips. In fact, it just wears off so nicely. It lasts long. I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Links below for all the products that I'm using. And of course, my favorites. Literally so favorite. <laughs> I don't even want to take it off. It just looks so damn good. Sadly, I do have to remove this shade because I've got six more shades to try out. And in this video, I really want to show you different types of lipsticks, not just matte lipsticks, not just brown lipsticks, but I want to go from different finishes, from sheer to super opaque, from glossy to matte to everything in between. So as much as I love this one, it's got to go. Gonna go back to my chestnut lip liner because the next shade that I'm going to be talking about goes really well with chestnut lip liner. And it's kind of a similar color to Sunray that I just tested out, but it's a totally, totally different formula and totally a different vibe. I'm talking about Lisa Eldridge, sheer to semi sheer, slightly shimmery lipstick in the shade Meet Me in Berlin. Now this from the tube looks like it's a brown lipstick, looks very 90s, kind of grungy, but once you apply it on your lips, it totally transforms. Watch this. How stunning is this lipstick. First of all, this feels like a lip balm on your lips. It feels so comfortable and just so nourishing that it almost feels like you're not wearing any lipstick at all. Just like a little bit of hydration, a little bit of moisture on your lips. The color is semi sheer, but it is buildable. So you can absolutely add more. The tone is very warm, but I would call this in the brown nude category. So on some people, this would be a nude. On others, it would be a brown like it is on me. And then on those with skin tones, much lighter than mine, this would probably come off as like a much grungier shade. But still, I think this is very versatile. This is very wearable. This is $36, not the cheapest, but not the most expensive of 
the list that I have compiled today. But the finish and just like how comfortable and how pretty it looks, I had to include it. I love Lisa's lipsticks. All of them are just stunning formulas, stunning colors, and this one is one of my faves for the fall. It is just so right. Just also makes you feel so put together. I could have slapped this on with no makeup at all and it would still somehow dress me up. You know what I mean? That's just like the feeling that it gives me. Love this one. Packaging is amazing. Just feels so luxe. So cool. The next fall lipstick that is on my faves list is a liquid lipstick, a long-lasting, non-transferable liquid lipstick from Makeup Forever, Rouge Artist Forever Matte 24-hour long wear liquid lipstick. This is $25, and the shade that I am specifically talking about is 192 Toffee at All Hours. I love the name. I love the shade. This is kind of like a, another medium tan sort of color, but a very different formulation from the previous two lip products that I showed. So this one I am going to pair with a Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. So this is a $25 lipstick, comes with a doe foot applicator. It applies the product precisely and it sets to a non-transferable matte almost instantly. But it does give you some wiggle room to play around to really perfect the lip line or whatnot. To me, this is the quintessential fall nude for medium to tan skin tones. This is it. I love this shade so much. It's just like a little bit brighter or a little bit deeper than my natural skin tone, but it's a, it's a similar undertone in a sense that it works with my blush, it works with like my contour, my natural skin tone, you know, but it's not blending in with my skin. It's not giving me like a no mouth effect. This is still making me look like I have lips, like I have a mouth, you know, and I love that. I feel like this is a color that could go well with just a simple cat eye or with no eye makeup at all, just mascara. I feel like you can dress it up or dress it down. It is part professional, part grungy, if you will. Just that toffee shade is so fall, so fall appropriate. It is great for your things Thanksgiving dinner or perhaps for work or for school. To me, this is a very versatile color that you could wear with just about anything and it makes me feel really good. So here we go at number three. Also what I love about this specific non-transferable matte is that it does not feel super drying on the lips. It's very lightweight. I can talk, I can do all my normal mouth movements and uh, I have a lot of mouth movements. This looks just as fresh hours later than when you first applied it on. I think this is a great formula. There's tons of other shades that you guys should look into if you are interested in this particular formula. They have great nudes, great like uh, rusty and orangey reds, great, like just a great, great selection of fall colors. I am a big fan of this one. But because it is non-transferable, it is going to take me a little bit more effort to remove. I'm gonna grab my cotton ball. I'm gonna soak it with this Joa Love You Matcha Green Tea Oil Infused Micellar Water. Regular micellar water just won't work. You need something with a little bit more oil to break down the solidity of the this type of product. So what I like to do is kind of just soak the lips and then use another cotton ball to remove the excess. All right, so so far I have mentioned an $8 lip product. I have mentioned a $36 lip product, also a $25 lip product. So the next one is going to be from the drugstore. In the $10, $11 range, this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Globetrotter is your perfect burnt orange for fall 2022. I love this shade. I also really like this formula. I much, much prefer this Superstay Matte Ink over their Vinyl Ink, which is supposed to be like a glossy non-transferable lipstick. This still looks kind of glossy and it still does transfer a little bit, but this one for some reason just wears a lot better. So this is the one that I prefer formula-wise. For my lip liner, I'm gonna be reaching for the Makeup Forever 706 full scale rust in the artist color pencil. And by the way, with some of these shades, you're not required to wear lip liner. I'm just doing it because my natural lip line isn't very defined. So it just helps me to stay within the lines and to save time. But if you have a very defined or like a double lip line, you could probably skip lip liner. So anyway, Globetrotter, burnt orange, here we go. Is this not stunning or what? I love, love, love this shade. The only caveat with this particular formula is that it does take a while to set. So you have to be careful with talking and just like exposing your teeth to the lipstick. Otherwise there could be staining on your teeth. So I'm gonna try to be very careful and very conscious of that. So if I'm speaking a little funny, it's just because this thing hasn't set yet. But anyway, I like this formula for the fact that it does wear very well once it does set. And although this is considered a matte lipstick, this actually does have 
a slight sheen to it. It doesn't fully set all the way matte and it's not fully non-transferable, even though it claims that it is. But even with all of that, I still really, really like this formula. Notice how I only dipped the lipstick once and I was able to get this much color payoff from just one dip. And to me, this color is also kind of underrated, but also very bold. It is very confident. It's a very confident color. This is the color that you wear to your Thanksgiving dinner, but it is also the color that you may wear to go out on a date. Why not? Dress it up, dress it down. It looks good. All right, time to remove. My hair is so crazy today. That's because yesterday I had a wig cap on. I was wearing a wig. It was Halloween. And today I didn't have time to like wash my hair and redo it. Another one of those takes a little effort to remove type of lipsticks. Alexa, Alexa, read me the notification. Alexa. Read me notification from Amazon shopping. Three shipments have arrived, including glass bottles with lids. Thank you, Alexa. Okay, this one does stay in the mouth just a little bit simply because of the pigment. But for 10 or 11 bucks, you're not really complaining, are you? Okay, the next shade that I want to talk about is actually the only shade that I would put in the reds category. Yet yeah, this isn't a typical holiday red or like your vibrant summertime red. This is a very fall appropriate rusty type of red. Are you ready? I am talking about Dior Rouge Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick in the shade Forever Radiant. It is this red right here, number 840, and this is basically your deep brick red. This is an expensive lipstick. This is a $42 product, but the reason why I'm including it in this list is because I think this is a very unique formula, something that I have not seen before. Not only is it a traditional matte lipstick in the traditional lips stick tube type of packaging, but it is non-transferable, it is long wearing, and it is incredibly hydrating and lightweight on the lips. So there are a lot of claims, all of which are true. This wears incredibly well. It feels really, really nice on your skin and the delicate skin on your mouth and the colors are just stunning. This is just one of my favorite colors, but if you click on the link below, you can check out all the colors. It has some of my favorite nudes, some of my favorite reds. This is just a great lipstick formula, even though it's very pricey. So I am going to go ahead and pair this one with the Full Scale Rust, the same lip liner from the previous lipstick, the Maybelline, and now watch. Is this not like the most wearable fall red ever? I think so. I just cannot get enough of this red. I keep on looking at my own reflection in the, the monitor, also in the mirror, and I just love the way that it looks on me. This is such a sophisticated color, and it's also a very complex color. When I look at it, yes, uh, at first glance, it's like a very warm brick orangey type of red, but there's so much in there. There's hints of brown, there's hints of rust, there's hints of spice, you know, so it definitely feels very elevated. It feels like this will suit a lot of different skin tones, not just medium or tan ones, but this would look incredible on deeper skin tones. And I think this might be a hidden gem for lighter skin tones and even cooler skin tones. I bet this type of color would pop beautifully on like a very fair, light freckled skin tone. Mm, I need to see it in action. But for now, this is it on me. Time to remove, even though I'm sad to remove this one. This one unfortunately also takes a little bit of effort in the removal process, just because it is so richly pigmented. All right, so now that we've covered the nudes, the medium browns, the oranges and the reds, I want to jump into the wine and berry category with my favorite lipstick for that category being Too Faced Coco Bold Lipstick in the shade Triple Fudge. So this is a deep berry red. I would definitely put it in the wine category. $28 lipstick, and it smells like chocolate filled with raspberries, if that makes sense. For this shade, I am going to whip out my MAC Vino Classic Lip Liner. I'm gonna give it a little whirl in the sharpener, and I'm gonna take my time lining my lips because for this bold, darker type of color, it's important to get the edges straight, important to get the corners right, so bear with me. I like to feather in the corners because traditional cream lipsticks adhere differently to lip liner than they do to the bare lips. So I wanna give them a little something to adhere to in the corners, which is where I want them to be a little bit deeper and make sure that they do not rub off. I also like to do just a little bit of lip contouring. And why am I saying all this? Because this lipstick 
is a satin formula. So it's not gonna be your non-transferable matte that I showed you with my previous choices. This is a lipstick that is incredibly creamy. It is also very, very pigmented, but it does transfer and it does need to be reapplied throughout the day. With this type of stunning finish, you can only really get with a satin lipstick. It just gives you this little bit of sheen, which for a deep color like this is important because it kind of gives a little bit more volume to your lips, as darker shades tend to make small mouths look even smaller. So I don't actually mind the shine. I think it dresses up this type of color. It makes it just a little bit more glam than had it been a flat matte. I think this is stunning, not just on me, but on any skin tone on any undertone this would look incredible with just like a very sheer ethereal almost wet looking lid and like long lashes or just mascara so remember this one for the holiday season although it's perfect for fall it also leans just a little bit more dressed up a little bit into the holiday season i love this one i don't want to remove it i don't want to remove you but sadly it is time to remove it my final lipstick which you may already have guessed is a deep dark chocolate brown from Rare Beauty and it is the shade Strong. I love this lipstick so much. I actually really, really love the entire Rare Beauty Kind Words lipsticks and lip liners collection. There's about, I wanna say nine or 10 shades, possibly eight. But basically it's lip liners and lipsticks that match perfectly. So for my final, favorite fall 22 lip shade. I chose the shade Strong, which is a dark chocolate brown. This is a $20 lipstick and a $15 lip liner. They match perfectly. And I'm gonna show you why this is my favorite. First of all, I really, really love the lip liner. It is a very innovative, super pigmented, easily glidable gel type of formula. Very opaque, very precise. I love this lip liner. Also, if you find that the tip of the liner has become a little too dull. There's a little helper on the end that you can easily use to sharpen it and make it more precise. So this liner is very cool. Because of how pigmented it is and how gel-like it is, it absolutely does not skip. It does not actually drag on your lip line. It glides so easily, which is what makes it apply so precise. And now for the lipstick, here comes Strong. See, just a perfect match to the lip liner. Just a perfectly neutral, not too cool, not too warm, dark brown that looks like chocolate, that is so chic, that is so stunning, that I'm honestly so, so in love with. This just might be my favorite fall shade of lip for 2022. I love this formula. I really love all of the colors in the Kind Words collection, so definitely check those out. I actually have a video swatching all of the shades and also the lip liners that match them. But to me, this feels part grungy, part glam, but also on the right person, this could look very upscale and very professional. This is the type of lipstick that I would recommend to anyone. If you're not afraid of brown, no matter what your skin tone is, you will love this color. This is just such an empowering, such a confidence boosting type of shade. I really feel like I can conquer the world in this shade. This is just how it makes me feel looking at myself and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel pretty, yet confident, yet bold, yet trendy, you know, all of those things. So that is the seventh final lipstick recommendation in my fall 2022 lipsticks guide. I kind of had a lot of fun in this video. I feel like this is something that I could possibly do seasonally, perhaps the best holiday lipsticks, perhaps the best spring lipsticks, maybe the best summer lipsticks. Maybe I could even invite a friend who's a different skin tone than me and maybe we could try on some of our favorite colors together. I mean, the wheels are rolling and I'm kind of excited for this to become my new series, possibly, if this video is well received by you guys. So definitely let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one. Also, please, we're all ears. Give us your favorite lipsticks for fall recommendations. Tell me if I've missed anything. And don't just stick to the higher end formulas. Let me know some cheaper lipsticks, some um, dupes and alternatives that you like. I really want to know. I want to hear from you guys and I'm sure I'm not the only one. So with that said, I am going to zoom on out. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Check out more of my videos over here, more lip swatches, and more product recommendations for you. Peace out and I'm out.